And it's back for more factoring. Okay, I am going to teach you a new way of factoring that I have actually never taught before. So I hope I do a good job of this. Um, we are going to be doing this for a few days. So really pay attention. Let's go. All right. Um, you know what? We're going to skip that page. Okay, we are going to learn to factor and this time there is going to be a number in front right here. Yesterday when we factored there was no number. So let's write down example number one. This method is called slip and slide. Okay, when there's a number in front what you are going to do is slip that number over to the 4 and rewrite your problem x squared plus 11x plus multiply, you get 24. At this point, you're doing the method that I taught you last night. I need two things that multiply to give me 24 and add to give me 11. Well, that would be 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8. Yep, 3 times 8 multiplies to give me 24 and adds to give me 11. So the answer is going to be x plus 8 and x plus 3. Now I need to slide that 6 that I put here, I need to slide it underneath each of these binomials. Now I need to reduce, that gives me x plus 4 thirds and x plus 1 half. I can't exactly leave it that way, so my very last step is to take this 3 and put it in front of the x. So my solution is going to be 3x plus 4, the 2 goes in front of the x, 2x plus 1. Now if you notice, this would give me 6x squared, the inside is 8x, the outside is 3x, and the last is 4. 8x and 3x add together to give me 11x. And if you see here, we have the same problem as we began with. Okay, so here is your solution right there. All right, write down number two. This one's a little bit different because I have a negative in front of the 16. Okay, let's slip the 3 over to the 16. That gives me x squared minus 16x plus... 48. Now I need to think of the things that multiply to give me 48 and add to give me a negative 16. Now how am I going to multiply to get a positive and add to give me a negative? Well, both of these numbers are going to have to be negative. So let's start at 2. 2 times 24 will not give me a 16. 3 times 16 is 48, but that does not give me a 16 both negative. Negative 4 times negative 12 gives me 48 and guess what? It also gives me 16. So fill in your factors x minus 4 and x minus 12. The order there does not matter. Now I'm going to take that 3 and slide it under here on each side. So that gives me x minus 4 thirds and looky here 3 goes into 12 four times x minus 4. Now this one is done, but this 3 I have to take and put up front 3x minus 4, x minus 4. At this point we could check, so I've put the check already on here. If you multiply it all out, you will get the original problem. Number 3. Now this one is the most difficult because I have two negatives. How am I going to multiply to get a negative and add to get a negative? Well, we'll talk about that. I've got to take this 3 and slide it over to the 8. That gives me x squared minus 2x minus 24. Think of two things that multiply to give me negative 24 and add to give me 2. Well, 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. 4 times 6 multiply to give me 24, and if I were to make the 6 negative, then that would multiply, I mean add, to give me a negative 2. If you look at all of these, one number is going to have to be negative in order for the 24 that we're multiplying to try to get to be negative. 
none of these will give me my negative 2 that I'm looking for except for 4 and negative 6. Now this order doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to fill it in 4 and negative 6. Now I've got to slide the 3 back under, so I get x plus 4 thirds and x minus 2. Take the 3, put it back in front, 3x plus 4 and x minus 2. All right, now we're trying the next example, 4. This time I have a positive on the last sign. So I need to slip the 9 over here. That gives me x squared minus 15x plus 36. I'm trying to multiply to get 36 and add to get negative 15. Well, the only way to multiply to get um, a positive and add to get a negative would be both of these to be negative. That would be 1 times 36, 2 times 18, still not getting that. 3 times 12. There we go. That's going to give me my negative 15. Fill your numbers in. x minus 3 and x minus 12. I need to slide the 9 back under. So I get x minus reduce. You get 1 third. And x minus 3 goes into 9, 3, 4 thirds. Switch the 3 back to the front, 3x minus 1, 3 back in front, 3x minus 4. Now I put the check on here, right here, so you can see that it really does work. Next example, number 5. I want you to pause, see if you can do this one, and then turn it back on to check your answer. Slip the 3 over, that gives me n squared plus 11n minus 12. Multiply to give me 12, add to give me 11. That means that my signs are going to have to be different. Well, 3 times 4 is 12, and 6 times 2 is 12, but that won't add to give me 11. 1 times 12, making the 12 positive and the 1 negative, multiplies to give me negative 12. It also adds to give me 11. So I'm going to put the 1 with the negative and the 12 with the positive. Now I have got to take my 12 and slide it back under. That's the slide part of it. I end up with n plus 1 and n, whoops, 12, uh-oh, I messed up somewhere. I found it. Hold on, guys. I hope you all caught this. Found it. I put a 12 up here instead of a 3, so it messed me up. Right here and right here are going to be my mistakes. Aren't you so glad I caught that? Yes, I'm glad I caught that. My phone is ringing. Okay, so did y'all catch that? Um, so I had to put the 3 here and then, whoops, I'm erasing my eraser. Um, I had to put the 3 there, and then once I put the 3 there, that gives me the 12. Then I have to take the 3 and slide it under. That gives me n plus 4 and n minus 1 third. And then final answer, n plus 4, 3n minus 1. All right. I did put the check down here again so that you could see that it worked. And now I believe this is our last example. Turn this paw and pause and then come back and join me. Slip the 4 over to the right. That gives me x squared minus 15x minus 16. I need to multiply to give me 16. Since that's a negative 16, I know the signs are going to be different. Well, I've got 4 times 4 and 8 times 2, but that won't give me the 15. I need to do, how about 16 times 1? If the 16 was negative and the 1 was positive, that would multiply to give me 16 that would also add to give me negative 15. So I'm going to put the 16 with the negative, whoops, with the negative and the 1 with the positive. Then I need to slide the 4 back under. That gives me x plus 1 fourth and x minus 4. Put the 4 back in front, 4x plus 1 and x minus 4. Well, guess what? That's the end. 
Have a good evening. Um, really make sure that you understand this and are ready tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.